gently, gently. Oh. Easy. Ah. Easy. Ah. <gasps> Feels good to be home. Yeah. Finally. After two months. You know, I am so grateful to God that this accident didn't take you away from us. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like, I was so scared I would lose you. My oh dear. We bless God. Bless God. I'm, I'm very grateful to God that at least I have power in these limbs. The doctor said he would have been paraplegia, but it's paraparesis, meaning that it's weakness and not total paralysis. He also said, um, according to the Oxford muscle power gradient, that I have power one. If it was zero right now, I wonder how depressed I would have been. So there is hope. You know, mm -hmm. we, are, we are grateful to God. We, we thank God. Welcome back home once again, sir. Benson, thank you. Benson, please take him upstairs while I go prepare something for him to eat so he can have his medication. Thank okay. you, sis. Welcome back, bro. <laughs> okay, let me go prepare something for you to eat. <sighs> Honey, I'm coming. Let me just quickly change into something else, okay? All right. Careful, Benson. See my leg, Benson. Careful. Babe. I'm, I'm sorry for all the stress that I put you through. Babe, you don't need to mention, okay? Because it's not your fault. <sighs> Who fixed the blame on the person that tampered with your car brake? Hmm. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Go on. <sighs> Bella, do you still love me? I mean, now that I obviously cannot work and I don't know when next I, I'm ever going to work again. Babe, see, I love you. And I promise you, we'll go through all of this together. Trust me. Thank you. Thank you. So now enough of the night talk, okay? You have to sleep, okay? Because you need all the rest you can get mm. to help you recover fast. Why don't you know? Why don't you see? Pull yourself forward. Just uh.
He has an appointment with his physiotherapist. <sighs> What's with the smiling face? Well, I guess I have to keep up with this for as long as possible. Oh gosh. I just wish he had died on the hospital bed. I don't want to see his face. <laughs> if you're complaining, what would I do? Like I am the one who literally stays and sleep with him in this house. The way you're acting, don't get too excited. It might ruin everything. Yeah. I know. So what next? Well, tamper with his medication so he can die slowly. Yes, you wouldn't want his death to be traced to the both of us, right? Just keep your part of the deal and I'll keep mine. <laughs> Duly noted. Anyway, I made fried rice it's in the kitchen, okay? Okay. Let me just quickly go change into something as I have someone to say. Right. Bad girl. <laughs> Why don't you know? Okay. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't come visit you yesterday. You know, it's a bit difficult to leave his sight, especially when he needs little assistance. So you're telling me that you're choosing him over me? Come on. Don't get it twisted. See, I still have to play cool for everything to work. Maybe. The truth is that I'm finding it very difficult to put up with this. I mean, it's killing me. The fact that I have to share you with another man, I mean, it's driving me crazy. Oh, yeah. And I am tired of the lonely nights. Say, just give me a little time. It's fine, though. By the way, how are you? I'm doing okay. I'm okay, I'm fine. Your facial expression says otherwise. Business. Business has been terrible lately. I, I need money, I need real good money to invest in my business urgently. I don't understand. But I raised a millionaire for you two months ago. Ha! Wait a minute. Two months ago. So are you saying that I squandered it on frivolities? Huh? What are you talking about? Elon Musk is the richest man in the world, but he lost billions of dollars last month. Even our own Dangote. He lost a lot of money the other day. You see, babe, in business, you win some, you lose some. Unfortunately, I've been on the losing end for some time now. Okay? It will definitely change. All right? So how much are we talking about? Just, just 1.5 million. 1.5 million naira. Why are, you, why are you sounding like that? Why are you raising your voice? Why are you talking as if you can't get it? Just ask Anderson. There is nothing he wouldn't do for you. And you know it. All right? Babe, please. I need this money. Okay. Fine. I'll try. That's my girl. That's my girl. You know I love you, right? You know that, right? And I love you too. Oh my goodness. Come here. Come here. Oh, you're an angel. You're a lifesaver. What would I do without you? Nothing. So, sir, we have recently had much more clients patronizing us, leading to a more remarkable generation of income. Let me see. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh. Benson. Sir. Honestly, this is this is quite impressive. Very good, very, very good. Look, I I must commend you for 
your sacrificial efforts. You know, you always ensure that business goes as usual, even in my absence. And that's very, very commendable. I see you. Hmm? Thank you, sir. But uh, I owe it all to you. I mean, thank you so much for teaching me all this. It's okay. Just um, draft the proposal for the month's business. For to David, I'll send David a check. Then I'll punch in some money too for you so that you can settle the rest of the stuff. It's okay, sir. Nice one. That'll be all for today. Yeah, but <clears throat> one more thing, sir. What is it? So You said you are going to appoint someone who will temporarily be at the helm of the affairs of the company. <laughs> yeah, that's correct, uh, but uh, I'm working on it. It's fine, sir. Just take your time, sir. We trust your decision, sir. Mm. Mm. That's all right. That's all right. Just this, help me shut down mm. and um, t take it upstairs. All right, it's nice. Okay? Nice. <laughs> take this one up, too. Oh, okay, Keep it in that uh, shelf. Yes, sir. <sighs> Bella. 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 Oh, what is it now, eh? It's late. Ha. I'm so sorry, my love. I'm so sorry. Please, I'm choking. <coughs> I'm very thirsty. Please. Please find a way to help yourself, Abek. Ha. Oh, come on, Bella. Don't talk like that. You know I cannot use my limbs. Please. I, I, I promise I will not disturb you again tonight. If you could just get me a bottle of water, please. And how is it my fault you got into an accident? Eh? See, I am not your mommy to be running errands for you. So better help yourself. Ha. Bella, please. Good night. Why don't you know? Why don't you see? I've been you alone. Okay. It's getting hard. Close your eyes. Did you feel anything? It felt like you touched me under my foot, but I'm not sure. Maybe you can just do it again. Hmm, okay. You touched me somewhere here. Good. Your sensory nerves are beginning to pick up. It's a way forward, trust me. Doctor, that's my sensory nerves. What about movement? What about movement? When am I going to work again? That is one question I don't want to be in a hurry to answer. But trust me, miracle happens. This thing takes time. And you'll be back on your feet again, okay? Mr. Anderson. All you need to do is just add this to the drugs you're taking already. More drugs? Just add it. Okay? I'll hurry back to the hospital. Be strong, my brother. Thank you very much, Dr. Silvanus. I appreciate you. All right, send me word to everybody. Baby, how are you feeling today? Um, baby, I will be needing some money because I need to restock my shop. But I gave you money last month. I'm here to see the proceeds from the money. Baby, you will. 
you know for me to continue remaining at the top i need to continually restock what people need i know what? baby come on i mean this money we're talking about is nothing to you okay so how much are we even looking at it's only 1.7 million naira. only only 1.7 million naira. There's no problem. I I write you a check. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Deli. Come on, but don't act like you you don't know you're supposed to apologize for what happened uh, yesterday night. Babe, I'm sorry. I was just very tired. But I'm sorry. Thank you very much. You know what? You're the best. You are the best. AKA Odogu special. See, any other Odogu is a counterfeit. Trust me. <laughs> I love you, darling. Love so you now tell me, what would you like to eat so I can quickly fix up something for you? Well, today must be Christmas then. Oh, yes, you can say that again. <laughs> In fact, don't disturb yourself because I know your favorites. Hmm? So I'll just quickly fix it up. For a special Odogu like you. And see, trust me, when I am done, I'll come back and massage. If I give you a special therapy. Ha ha. Wow. So I can just be I'll sending, be right back, baby. Like I'll be sending 1.7 million every day. <sighs> Babe, I received the money. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It wasn't easy getting the money from him. So please, make the risk worth it. I will, babe. I will. So where is he? He's in the living room. The thought of you being with another man really hurts. I hope you know that. Yeah, I know. But we all just have to be patient. Why not just kill him at once? Maybe suffocate him or something. No. It's not that easy. See, Anderson is very smart. It's fine. No problem. I'll be going to bed now. Same here. I need to go take my shower now. All right, then. Good night. Benson, Boss. I need you to get me an executive help as soon as possible. Contact all the agencies you need to contact, but get me one ASAP. Okay. But why that, sir? Well, the faster I get one, the longer I'll leave, perhaps. I'm beginning to lose trust in some of the people around me. Besides you, though. Well, I understand, sir. And I'll do it right away. I'll do it. Good. Thank you. So how is everyone at work? Well, everyone is doing absolutely fine. And um, they are all concerned about you. It's all good. Well, by God's grace, I hope to join you guys sooner than later. Amen. I pray so, sir. That'll be all. You may leave now. All right. You have a great day, sir. Thank you, Benson. Yes, sir. What is it now? Baby, it's been long. I'm on my period. 
But you said that last week. Do you want me to open my pants and show you? So you know I'm not lying. Ha! Come on. Bella. It's not sex I want from you. I just want to feel the warmth of your embrace. I want to feel comfort in your arms. Hmm? But ever since we got back from the hospital, you've been really, really mean. Who is mean? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I am being mean, Abby. I don't blame you. It's not your fault. You're very ungrateful. After all I have done for you, you're calling me mean. Better get those your filthy hands off my body. <sighs> yeah, babe, why don't we eat out, you know? It's been a long time, okay? <laughs> yes, babe, sorry, I forgot to tell you. I've started processing our visas so that we can travel out of the country as planned, you know? Our visas? But I can't find mine. Yeah, babe, actually, when I got there, I discovered that the money I had wasn't enough. You know, it was just not enough. Are you planning on running away and leaving me? <sighs> babe, are you, are you serious? I mean, why would I do a thing like that? Am I that heartless? After all we've been through together? Come on, babe. Huh? I went there with the money I had, I started the process, but it wasn't enough. So what I did was, the money left, I deposited as part payment for yours. So that when you get the balance, they wouldn't have to start afresh. Emmanuel. Babe. No, no, no. Are you, are you doubting me? Would you blame me? Babe. Look at me. Listen, babe. I hate it when you doubt me. I can't lie to you. I can't hurt you. All right? If I didn't want you to say this, I wouldn't keep it where you found it. All right? Okay. So how much is left to process mine? The immigration officer said uh, not more than 800,000. I'll give the money to you before the week runs. So, um, how is Anderson? Why is he not dead? Yet. If it is easy to kill someone, why don't you kill him for us? Babe, come on. We don't have time. Time is running out. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, why don't you just think of something, maybe swap his drugs or something. You know, we don't have time. I do that almost every day. <sighs> oh, gosh. We just have to give it time. We don't have time, babe. Oh. You have to think of something really fast, you know. Sir, is there anything else I can do for you? I want to step out. Oh. Have you been able to find someone? Uh, no, sir. The agency I consulted gave me a feedback that they are in short of staff, but they are currently recruiting. So they asked that I give them some more time. Hmm. Please help me. Just keep checking. All right? Yes, sir. But, sir, you're looking weaker daily. Are you sure you're taking your medications as prescribed? Trust me, I am. I don't know what the problem is. You know, I guess it's just better to die away than to stay alive and be struggling to live. No, no, sir, please do not say that. I mean, some of us here still need you to be alive. Oh. Well, if you were in my shoes, 
you probably would have committed suicide a long time ago. <coughs> sorry, sir. <coughs> I'm sorry, sir, please. The only thing that this accident did not take away from me is the ability to procreate. <sighs> you will not understand. And what about Bella, sir? Mm. Well, some things are better not said. That will be a discussion for another day. So sorry, sir. Uh, I I hope everything is all right. Well, absolutely, everything is fine, sir. Oh. That's all right. Hmm. Benson, you are the most loyal of all my staff. You know, you actually deserve an accolade. Anyways, in the meantime, I'll I'll call my cashier to transfer fifty thousand naira to you, just so that you can you can give yourself a treat. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so so much. Sir. <coughs> sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. <coughs> sorry, sir. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And I pray and hope that the Almighty God will give you a perfect touch of good health in your due time. It's all right. It's all right. Yes, sir. I, I, I will be on my way now, sir. It's all right. Yes, sir. So different. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're taste, but haven't recovered from the mouth-watering jollof rice I prepared for you. I'm feeling very sleepy already. I just feel drowsy. You know what, Ian? Why don't you just get some sleep? <sighs> Come on, let me help you out. Easy. easy. <sighs> Easy, easy. Sorry. I'm sleepy. Good night. Hey, baby. Welcome. Hey. And um, how are you feeling today? Terrible. How's business? <sighs> well, business was fine. Mm. I'd like us to have a conversation. Hmm? Mm. Yes. About what? Don't worry. Come sit down. Hmm? Okay. Uh, babe, I want to especially thank you for being with me and everything you've done for me, even after the accident. Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't understand. Where's this conversation leading to? Well, I, am, I want to talk about us. Babe. You have changed. You are literally very strange to me now. Doesn't feel like the Bella I used to know. After the accident, I, I really doubt if I, if I still know who you are. 
Sometimes you act as if you wish I was dead. I mean, you know that I can't really move with my lower limbs now. Yet I'll still need help. I'll still ask you to get me something and you would murmur. You would not listen. You would totally ignore me. Be faith. See, I'm sorry. It's just that everything is taking a big toll on me. <sighs> I guess I'm just pouring my frustration on you. Sorry. Hmm. I need you to come clear with me. Please don't play with me. Let me know. Do you still love me? What's going on? If, if you don't love me, tell me. Because I literally struggle to stay alive because of you. Bella, is there someone else? Bella. No. Because if there is someone else, I would appreciate you tell me. I will understand. Instead of you playing games with me, talk to me, tell me the truth. I will not be angry. See, Anderson, there is no one else, okay? I am really sorry. It's just that I have been pained with a sudden turn of events. I mean, the thought of you not being able to walk again is killing. But I'm sorry. I love you better. I don't want to lose you. I love you so much. And I am going nowhere. Trust me. And I love you too. So, sir, I have finally found you an executive maid. Her name is Fiona. Oh. That's it's quite impressive. The CV and everything. Thank you, sir. And she really has good looks. She, she looks equal to the task. I made a perfect choice, sir. You sure did. Hmm. So, sir, how would you like our work schedule to look like? So I need a living help. You know, because I may need her services anytime. I mean, once in a while she can take um, her off during weekends. But I need someone on ground. Okay. To understand. About that, I will give you feedback, sir. Very good. And something else, sir. What's it? Miss Sandra has lately been asking some questions about the affairs of the company that is making me very, very uncomfortable. I see. Okay, so whenever she asks, just tell her everything is going fine. Do not disclose any information to her. All right? It's okay, sir. It's okay. Good. Very good. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to be going for my medical checkup very early. So please, endeavor to be here on time. Hmm? I will, sir. I will surely try and be here on time, sir. Okay. It's fine. I'll be taking my leave now. All right. All right. Oh, you have a nice day, sir. Hmm? I don't understand you. I don't understand this. No, tell me. How do you mean you're unable to get the money? Just 800,000 up till this moment. Babe, calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, okay? How am I even sure that you're not trying to make a fool out of me in all of this? Why would I? See, babe, I promise to get the money for you. Listen, babe. You better do. Because you're going to come here. And you're going to discover that I've traveled. All right? Babe, if see. Don't beat me. Get the money. There's no time. Get the money. All right? Every time you look into my eyes, into my eyes, can't you even 
tell that I want to be yours and you be mine. So, you won't blame him. I'm afraid he's beginning to suspect. We know that's not enough reason, right? Well, wait a minute. I'm curious why you're bent on killing your own blood. Bella. Bella, we both want something. You want to run away with his money, with your boyfriend. Me, I want his money. All of it. Everything he has worked for. I want it. Well, I guess we just have to take things slowly, okay? The most annoying part of it is that Bensi guy. I so much dislike that guy. I just feel like he's so annoying. Do you know how many times that I've tried bringing that guy on our side? I've even tried getting information from him, but it's not working. It's not. He's not even having issues at all. It's frustrating me. Maybe you have to stop chasing him so he doesn't tell on us. Let me see. I will suggest, instead of killing him, why don't you just look for a way to just get some money out of him and, and run away? You're becoming too soft, though. Bella, you know you're new. The last person that tried to do that lost his life in the process. And besides, sooner or later, we're going to get caught by the police. So, get prepared. Are you good, sir? Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. So, sir, she will be resuming work by next week. Next week? That's, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, she's expected to come in with her manager by tomorrow morning. Oh, that's nice. So, is everything in place? Everything is absolutely fine, sir. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, but, sir, you look bothered. I hope everything is fine. <laughs> Benson, you now know me too well that even when I'm trying to conceal something, you find a way to dig in. Well, um, I'm looking for a certain amount of money that I kept in this house. Some hundreds of thousands. Have you checked very well, sir? Benson, you should know me by now. I'm a very meticulous man. I can't tell you something is missing when it's not. If I tell you something is missing, then you better believe. Oh. So, any suspicions? Well, I know Bella did it. No, 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 sir. I mean, it's not possible. She's... Benson, I am the one that I encounter her every day in this house. I know what she's capable of. I do. Just that I can't even confront her. Because it's going to hurt the most. Watching her lie. Or as I know the truth. Sir, oh. this is uh, the rules that governs our agency. Okay. We usually read them out to our clients before commencement of work. Just go ahead. Go okay. ahead, sir. Okay, sir. So we do respect, sir. Mm. On no uh, account should any of our maids be molested nor abused. If we hear any reports with substantial evidence 
Hmm. Depending on the severity of the matter, it will be forwarded to the police. Yeah. Furthermore, payment of salary should be held with utmost priority. In case of any late payment, it will be it have to be extended to the first week of the next month. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very very important to us. Um, so um, I I heard you correctly. No, please, sir. I heard you. I and um, don't worry. I'm I'm a gentleman. Okay. And I'll make sure that I keep to these terms. Okay, sir. Okay, please. please okay, sir. sir. Thank please, you. Sir. So I, I have to be on my way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't sir. worry. <laughs> There's nothing to worry That's about. That's how we do it. That's it's, how we do it. It's fine. Okay. Trust me. Okay. I got you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yes. Jonah. Yes. Take care of yourself, eh? All right. Um, Fiona, right? So you can take your bag inside. Oh, it's Benson. Benson, please show her to her room. Careful, my leg. <laughs> You're welcome, you're welcome. Just make yourself comfortable. Yes, please. Good evening, ma. Excuse me. Who are you? And how did you get in? Oh, uh, my name is Fiona Ma. I'm the new executive maid. Executive what? Um, caregiver to Mr. Anderson and general housekeeper. When did all this start? I just moved in today. What are you talking about? You know what? Never mind. Hey. <coughs> Babe, see, I don't understand. Why didn't you tell me you planned on getting a maid? Okay. It's not meant to be a big deal, is it? But still, you would have told me. Or oh, don't you think I deserve to know? <sighs> Come on, babe. <laughs> I got someone to help you. I mean, I've been a burden to you, right? So I, I got someone to make see, life easier for you and ease the stress and the burden on you. Hmm? See, but still, you would have told me at least. You would have told me. Hmm. Hey. Good morning, Ma. Keep your stupid greetings to yourself. Now listen. And listen real good. I want you to drop those tools and leave my house this minute. I'm sorry, I don't understand, Ma. How? But I just spoke English. You're fired. Well, with all due respect, Ma, I'll have to leave that to Sir Anderson. I mean, he hired me, so he alone can fire me. Are you out of your mind, young lady? Eh? I'm talking to you and you're talking back at me. You're opening that your dirty, smelly mouth to talk back at me. Are you stupid? Have you gone mad? I said drop those things and leave my house this minute. I'm sorry, but like I said, it's only Sir Anderson. That can fire. Oh, don't, don't, don't you dare talk back at me. Are you mad? One more word from you and I would... Excuse me, ma. I'm sorry. Where are you going to? Is that the way out of my house? Hey! 
wait, wait, come back here and get these things out of my house. By the time I go upstairs and come back, and I miss these things here, and even miss that your dirty, smelling body in my house, you see what I will do to you? You less girl. So, um, I need you to press against, which I need to okay, press that against, routine. yes, and hold. One, two, three, four, five. That's good, that's I, good. I can Release. feel strength Release. here. Okay, try that's it good. again. That's great. Right. One, three, four. I'm trying to raise it. Okay. But I have to raise it. Easy, easy. Oh. Ah. Because hey, baby. Doing a great job, yeah. Welcome, man. What are you still doing here? I thought I asked you to leave. No, what do you mean? What's going on? I don't understand. Hey, see, just hold it right there. It's still not enough that you brought in a maid without informing me. You brought an insolent one at that. Insolent? Wait, wait, what happened? You needed to see the way this fool disrespected me today. I can't take any of these anymore, please. You have to fire her. Wait, this, this was Fiona. What? I don't understand. You know what? Let me hear from her. You've been mute. What happened? Um, well, sir, while I was cleaning the sitting room this morning, the madam came down and asked me to leave. That I was fired. What? I just said, naturally, you're the one that hired me, so you should be the one to fire me. And in response to that, she gave me a slap. Wow. Uh, but what did you do? I was cleaning the sitting room. <laughs> Fiona, I, I am so sorry about this. Okay, I know this is quite against the ethics of your profession. I, I, I'm going to pay for the damages, okay? It's okay, sir. I believe it's just a misunderstanding. You know what? Just go to your room. I, I'll call you when I need you. Let me help you. Sorry. Yeah, I, I think I can try now. Let me try. Okay, try. It's like a movement in the gravity field. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. I'll be in my room, sir. I'll call you if I need you. Um, Bella, why would you do something like that? We have no focus. You don't have sense. So you now choose a man made over me, Abby? Okay. You haven't seen the last of me in this house. I promise. Fiona! Good morning, Ma. Good morning. You cold? Are you done with your shorts? Uh, not yet. Uh, your call interrupted. I want you to listen to me and listen real good. She is the owner of this house. And I want you to do everything as she says. I understand my brother hired you. But if you know what is good for you, you need to go in there, pack all your things, and leave this house. In fact, run out of this house. Okay, I hear you, ma, and of course I respect you. But um, in all sincerity, Sir Anderson has not complained about my services. That alone solidifies my stay here. So if there's an issue, um, I think you should take it up with him. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Young lady. Um, my apologies, Ma, but if there is a, no other issue at hand, I beg to take my leave. Excuse me. What? Take a look at that. Take a look at that. This girl is something else. Who? Hey, hey. Uh -huh. I see. She's biting more than she can chew. Oh, yes. But are you sure she is a threat? Of course she is. See, if she's not now, she will be in the future. Don't worry. 
I will figure a way out to get her out of this house. <sighs> Leave. Hey, bro. Hey. Care for some cup of juice? No, nah, thank you. I'm good. Mm. <clears throat> so tell me, how did your medical checkup and your physiotherapy session go? Well, we keep doing it. I mean, I'm yet to see any significant improvements. So, keep going. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> You're not looking bad, you know? Thank you. Maybe it's because you haven't seen me in a while. <laughs> Maybe. I noticed you got yourself a help. Oh, yes, I did. Um, Bella doesn't seem to like that too much. I hope you're not on the same page with her. No, I'm not, but you don't expect her to be comfortable. I mean, she doesn't want anyone to steal a space in this house. Oh, come on. It's nobody stealing anyone's spot. It's just a matter of time. She'll, she'll get used to it. <laughs> okay. It's yeah. fine. So, tell me, how are your staff managing your business? Well, business is going fine, I must say. I mean, thank God for what's this young man's name, Benson, who has learned a lot from me, actually. Mm. And, of course, you are there, so. <laughs> okay, but still, you haven't chosen anyone that would be the frontier of your business. <sighs> Why? <laughs> Well, maybe I, I just say I haven't found anyone. I'm still, I'm still thinking about it, you know. You haven't found anyone when I'm here. Why would you be searching for someone when you have me? Oh, really? <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I didn't even know I had you. I mean, thank you for your concerns, but I, I really, I don't want to bother you, you know. You're not bothering me, but it's fine. Um, take your time. <laughs> Choose wisely. Sure, I, that's the plan. Well, like I said, I'm still, I'm still thinking about it. Yeah, boy, yeah. Thank you for your concerns. <laughs> You're I'll just, welcome. I'll just let you know, all right? Mm -hmm. My beautiful sister. It's all right. Yeah. I'm happy, but there's improvement too. You're looking good. I can see Bella is taking good care of you. Ah, uh, Bella. Well, she's trying. <laughs> I've always had some power here, just hoping to, you know, step up and start working at the end of the day. That's the goal, you know, that's the goal. So just mm. use this, mm. but here, I'll support you with this one. I'm trying to hold that one. Remember what your physiotherapist told you? Let's go. Try and stand. Ah, okay. Okay, hold one. Easy, 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 easy. I'm holding you. I'm holding you. Hold on. Can you see where it is? Yeah, easy. I'm holding you. Look at this one. Yeah. Hold it. Easy, easy. Just, just hold on. Grateful? Easy, easy. Oh, God. It's okay. It's okay, but that was really impressive. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay, that's good. Have your bread? Mm. All right, let's go. Let me assist you with this, go. Let's go. The bread. Ah! Easy, easy. 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 Ooh. Easy. Ooh. Easy. Ooh. easy. Uh, no uh, worry, you won't fall. I'm holding uh, you. Just take uh, it easy. Uh, mm. Yes. Mm. Holding you. Okay, try and stand up first. Stand up right for a minute, yes. That's it. Easy. Easy. Okay. Okay. Okay, you can sit now. Okay. Easy. Right. Take it easy. Don't slump in. Don't slump in. Just, just gradually. 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 Uh, gradually. Gradually. Uh, yes. Uh, Don't force yourself like that. Sorry. That will be Sorry. all for today. Thank you. It can't be over today, but just take a rest. We'll get back to you after a while, okay? Thank you. Easy. 
Sorry. You can lay back and just relax yourself on me. I'll keep this. We'll get back to it later. Um, what issues do you have with Fiona? Um, why did you want to fire her for no reason? Babe, see, I still don't understand why we need a maid in this house in the first place. Tell me, can't you see this girl is slowly trying to take my space in your life, but you're just too blind to see that. Oh, come on. She's only here to help. And you should know me by now. I am a one woman kind of guy. I do one woman per time. Hmm? Oh, wait. Don't tell me you're jealous. Anderson, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> Don't mind me. I, I, it's, it's, it's actually sweet to know. But you see her. Hmm? I have eyes for you and you alone. And like I said, she's here to ease the burden on you. She's here to make sure that you're not so stressed. Look, I don't enjoy it when you give me attitude when, when you are complaining. So that's why she's here. You understand? So just cheer up. There's nothing to worry about. Hmm? I'll try. Uh, doctor, I can actually do that right now. Yeah. Let me let me show you. Let me show you. I can actually. Impressive. <laughs> what really happened? Because whatever happened is new. I'm not aware of it. Well, nothing really, doctor. It's just that um, I employed this new help. I think she has some knowledge of physiotherapy, you know, therapeutic exercises, and you know, <laughs> some medical knowledge. I've been doing exercises with her and I can see very tremendous uh, uh, improvement. Hmm. Yeah, There's so much strength in this leg now. Hmm. Whatever happened, should continue, honestly. Uh, doctor, I was going to ask, the neurologist and physiotherapist that I'm going to go and see in India, how far? Y yes, that reminds me. I was going to tell you, um, he's going to be on duty throughout next month, so I'd advise you travel either this weekend or next week. Okay, we, this weekend it is then. Fine. Uh, I'm just, you know, waiting to hear from you. I need to be sure that I'm medically fit to travel. Uh, you don't have anything to worry. All we need to do is just get you ready medically to travel, okay? All right, doctor. All right. Thank you so much. Yes, I, have a great day. I'll be on my way now. I appreciate you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. <sighs> Good. So, how is the visa processing going? Very well. Uh, the immigration officer has told me that it will be ready very soon. Is it still possible for us to leave the country before the year runs out? Yeah, of course. It's just your visa that is keeping us right now. And secondly, babe, um, we're going to need money. Some real good money, you know, to help us start whatever it is that we're going to be doing over there. Like how much? I'm uh, trying to put everything together in my head and then uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. I love you, Emmanuel. I love you more, babe. I guess we have to look for other options. Other than killing Anderson. Yeah, yeah, you're correct. We just have to 
find a way to get away with this money. All right? Yeah. Babe, I, you know, I don't know what my life would have been without you. And you bring me so much joy, so much hope. You're so sweet. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Mm. The reason I, I called for this meeting is that um, there has been persistent theft of my money in this house. Within the space of just two weeks, a total amount of probably a million naira has been stolen. It's quite unbecoming. Fiona, what do you have to say about this? Well, I have no idea, sir. I have not taken any money. Bella? I haven't either. Well, Fiona basically arranges your room, so she should be the one you should be pointing fingers at. Oh, you are the one that sleeps in that room with me, are you not? So what are you insinuating? That I stole your money? Benson. Boss. Please kindly go to Fiona's room. Ransack the room. Check every corner or every bag that has the likelihood of money being kept therein. <laughs> Give me feedback. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I'm really surprised because... Because you've never complained of missing money in this house before. Why now? <clears throat> Sir, I found some money in her room. In that envelope? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Fiona. Yes, sir. Does this money belong to you? No, sir. What do you mean by no? How come they found it in your room? I have no idea, ma'am. Maybe someone planted it. And who is that someone? No. Eh? Shut up your mouth! Babe, Shabia, I told you to fire this fool, this idiot. But you thought I was making, making up stories. Now you see. See, this is just the beginning. Look at her, she's not even remorseful. Man, <coughs> Take this money. Go ahead and drop it where you found it. In. Fiona Shrub. Yes. Um, okay. Please, I'd like everyone to excuse Fiona and I. Um, I'd like to have a tete a tete with Fiona, if you don't mind. After being caught red handed, you're here denying. Hmm? No, don't worry, don't worry. It's fine. Okay. Mm. Careful, my leg. Come on, get off my leg. Fiona, for the very last time, did you take that money? No, sir, I did not. I have so many things, but a thief is not one of them. There's a core virtue in our firm. You, you don't seem perturbed you nor know, frightened. That's because I'm innocent, sir. I'll only be frightened if I'm guilty. Well, I must say that I 
I admire your emotional intelligence and mm -hmm. the way you have handled this so far. Oh, well, thank you, sir. I have worked with a lot of people and emotional intelligence is one of the needed characteristics of our job. Oh, I see. It's all right, just uh, go back to work. I'll handle everything. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, why don't you know? Why so, don't you see? what do you think about everything that has happened? Well, I think uh, it's a conspiracy. Conspiracy? <laughs> Is that what you feel? So, I know so. I mean, she exhibited a very strong emotional strength that I have never seen before. Well, left for me, sir. I think that girl is an honest person. Hmm. Really? Okay. Well, some psychopathic liars and criminals can actually destabilize you and whatever you feel you know about uh, reading minds or reading people because they can commit a very serious crime and yet they will be so relaxed. You literally want to believe they did not do anything. So that's not just the only criterion, you know? Nonetheless, I won't pretend that I don't agree with you on this because I don't think she took the money. You understand? <sighs> do you remember? <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry, sir. Yeah, it's fine. Remember I told you that I was looking at getting someone who would be in the front line with you, managing the business when I'm not around? I found someone. Oh, really? Fiona. Sir, so are you very sure? Benson, Benson. <laughs> Benson, I am a very smart man. Look. I draw you close, right? That's because there are some things I have observed. I know what I'm doing. Hmm? However, I'll be, I'll be traveling to India for a medical trip and I should be gone for about a month. So you guys will work hand in hand, you know? Work hand in hand and give me all the feedback and all the reports when I return. Is that okay? It's okay, sir. It's fine. <sighs> Good, good, very good. Please, help me, I want to. Yes. All right. Yes, no, I can. Good day, ma. Where are you going to? Um, I want to go call Sir Anderson and inform him that his meal is ready. Okay, this is his meal. Yes. Me. Why do you have to step on me? Look at the way you wasted this food. Do you know how expensive foodstuffs 
sir. I am so sorry, my was not intentional. Nonsense! Come on, get something and clean up this mess immediately. Oh my god, I, I, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm so Bone sorry. Bonehead! So sorry. Imbecile! I'm, I'm, and I by the way, why are you returning the food self? Didn't you say he was coming downstairs to eat? Yes, um, he changed his mind. He said he doesn't want to swallow anymore. He changed his mind. I, I really apologize. Yeah. Get out of here. Sir, mm. um, sir, I actually wanted to tell you that your medication will be finishing by tomorrow evening. Oh, thank you. But you know I'm traveling by weekend. Oh. Yes, I'll get new sets of drugs from India. Okay. Um, are you done eating? Oh yes, you came at the right time. Please help me. <clears throat> Help me clear this. Okay, sir. And uh, Fiona, sir? Um, if you don't mind, I'd like you to come, come keep me company when you're done. Oh, okay, sir. Should I take the water as well? Everything. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Hmm. <sighs> Please sit. Oh, sure. I trust today was good. Ah, uh, yes, with oh, bless God. <laughs> That's right. So I was going to ask you, um, have you ever managed a business before? Of course I have. Um, back in uni days, I owned a mini, mini food shop. And of course, I had to put a lot of things into consideration, you know, to run the business successfully. Mm. You know, perfect time for sales, the season, and surely the price range, perfect for students. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're such a brilliant girl. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Well, I, I was just, I was just curious, you know. So if if you get the opportunity to manage someone's business, would you accept something like that? I actually grab every business opportunity with both hands. It's just a means to learn, to grow, and generally be a better person. Awesome. 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 <laughs> yes, that's all good. So that's by the way. <laughs> by the way, by the way. So um I like to I like to attempt, you know, working again with my pair of clutches. Oh. Yes. So okay. so I, I need your assistance as you know how we do it as usual. With pleasure, sir. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. With pleasure. Thank you. Anytime, sir. Anytime. Um, are, are you ready to go up so I can help you? Is that you asking me to go up so you can go and sleep? No, no, no. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I understand that method. <laughs> All right, help me then, please. All right. <clears throat> it's okay. No, no, no. Okay. I help you, of course, sir. All right. Can I move the leg a bit? Oh. Yes, yes, that's good. That's a very good improvement. <sighs> Try again. Try. Yes. Just, yes, see? I just want to get to that place. I sit down. Try. Keep on. Keep, we can do it. We can do it. Just keep on going. Little by little. No much pressure. We're there. Yeah. Easy, 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 easy. The pain is normal. Oh, sorry. So sorry. What kind of life is this? It's okay. You'll be fine. Easy. Full go man, like be walking like this. It's okay. It's life. Okay. Let's try. Easy, easy. 
Easy. Get my contact. I'll go. It's okay. No, it's, okay. it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, my, it's okay. Hold yeah, on. My, my, my wheelchair. Ah! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Help me. Easy. Help me. Hold on. Help me. Easy. 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 Yes. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Help me a leg like a cock. Easy, 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 easy. Yeah. There you go. No, I've locked it. That's fine. Okay. Ah. Oh. All right, hold on. Let's go. Your face is falling back. It's okay. It's, it won't fall back. Okay. Uh. Uh. Hi. Sorry to bother you, sir, but you seemed lost in thoughts, like your mind was in another world. Yes, you are quite observant. There's a lot going on in my head. Do you need a company, sir? But all pleasure. I can use your company. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh... So do you mind sharing what was going on in your mind? Wow. You wouldn't believe that since the accidents happened, no one has genuinely asked me how I feel. No one. I'm sorry to hear that, sir. Sometimes I feel like I'm a failure. I mean, my two legs are gone. It's not totally, but... <sighs> Fiona, I have a lot of people around me. But sometimes, I feel like I have no one. I wouldn't claim to understand. But I'll see this. I think you should think of yourself first. You know, put yourself first. Hmm. Think of you and look at the positive side. You survived the accident. Think of a reason to, to leave, to hold on to life. I don't know if I should call you smart or you're deep, but really, who are you? <laughs> I'm a maid. You're a maid. Mm -hmm. So why did you choose to become one? I mean, why did you choose to become, what do you call it, an executive help or a maid? Why? It's just something I'm doing for the meantime. I hope to resign soon. Why? Why do you want to resign? Personal reasons, sir. <sighs> well, I, I wouldn't want to intrude, but I must be very honest with you. Talking to you is always very therapeutic to me. Mm. Always. However, I, I wouldn't enjoy embodying you with my problems, always. Ah, it's okay, sir. I'm always here. I'm always willing to listen. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Fiona. Do you feel better now, sir? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'll go get some water. That's... Uh... 
why I came out. Good night, sir. Good night, dear. So, um, I called us all here because I have an important announcement that I'd like to make. As we all know, I'll be traveling by weekend for medical treatments and checkups. Um, well, I hope to be back sooner than later. The good news is, I have found someone that will um, run the company with Benson during these tough times and um, when I'm not physically present. Fiona, here it is. What? What? What are you saying? Tell me you're joking. Because I don't understand why you entrust everything you've worked for over the years to a mere stranger. Make it make sense. Look, this is unbelievable. Wait, Gosh. I, I don't think it's, it, 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 this is something that calls for, you know, raising our voices. You know, this is my decision. I, I weighed the pros and cons and I weighed all the options before I, I tabled this decision. So I expect all of you to respect it. Okay? Okay? Good. Fiona, Benson here will put you through everything you need to know. Okay? I expect you both to, you know, cooperate and work with them. It's for the success of the business. Hmm? Sir. Will you shut up? Does it mean that you've been playing with us all this while? You've been fooling us? Well, it's, it's, you don't say it that way. I mean, this is what we've been hoping and praying for, to finally find out someone. Is that not? I mean, we should be happy that I have finally found someone that I can entrust the running of the business to. Is that not? Hmm? Do you know what? I can no longer take any of this. I'm going upstairs. Look, I don't know what you mean. Me too! Sit down, sit down. Um, sit down. Congratulations. Good evening, sir. Hey. How are you? I'm fine. You're still awake? Ah, uh, yes, I'm suffering the internet. You're suffering the internet? <laughs> internet suffers. <laughs> well, I hope the internet doesn't suffer. <laughs> I hope so too. That's right. Do you want something? Oh, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm just about going to bed. Oh, okay. All right. Enjoy yourself. So I think I just wanted to say um, it's sad that you'll be traveling tomorrow. Is someone missing me already? Everyone will miss you. <laughs> I, I, but when do you think you'll be back? Well, I... I intend to stay for a month. But, I mean, the way I'm seeing it, I may actually stay longer eventually. But I'm not sure. Okay, sir. Yeah. Um, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you have a boyfriend? I'm just curious. 
um, um, currently no. Oh wow. Okay, so but there's definitely someone that you're doing the whole talking face thing with, right? I'm just committed to my work at the moment. Work? Okay, so I mean... How about... No, never mind. <laughs> I'll just go to bed. Please turn off the lights when you're about going to bed. Okay, sir. Sure. Good sure. Night. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Why don't you see? In loving you alone, and it's getting hard to breathe. Can't you feel the love every time you look into my eyes? Can't you even tell that I want to be? Fiona. Fiona. Yes, ma'am. What's the meaning of this? Why are you dressed like this? I'm sorry, ma. I'm expecting some staff from the office for a meeting, of course. After the meeting, I'll go back to my uniform. With this skimpy thing. Anyway, I'm expecting someone in some couple of minutes, OK? Make sure you let him in when he comes. Ahem, come, lest I forget. When you're done, when you've changed into your uniform, you go to my bedroom and pick up some dirty linens I have there, okay? And make sure you use your hands. Your hands are not my washing machine because you did not bring any washing machine from your father's house or wherever you came from to this house. Is that clear? Is that clear, young lady? Yes, ma'am. Better. Good day. Yeah, good afternoon. Uh is Bella around? Yes, um, she's upstairs. Okay. So we were able to supply 50 cartons of the product to the market women. That's impressive. Uh, but how do we supply more than 50 cartons? Well, the target for daily supplies is 50 cartons. So Anderson gave me a list of the products, and from what I read earlier, they're about to expire. 
why not um, we can sell it at cost price you know that way it doesn't expire in our hands oh that's a very wonderful idea right there mm. now i see how you were able to steal my boss's heart because <laughs> <laughs> i was wondering how you managed to do it honestly i have asked myself that question a million times and i still don't have an answer <laughs> well just do your best ah thank you very much so you take this up with the marketing department sure right? sure 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 okay. i will have to communicate with the marketing department okay and then they take it up from there all right all right all right uh, great we'll work see you. have Bye -bye. a nice day you Bye. Too. Yeah. why don't you know why don't you see Yeah. <laughs> Come in. I'm sorry, I I was coming to arrange the room. As you can see, the room isn't free. Come back later. And hey, come here. You didn't see anything. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Now get out. Where is she? The new maid. The new maid. The girl looks cunning to me. Yeah, we share the same sentiment. Are you sure she's not going to tell on you? She wouldn't dare. All right. Um, you know, we still need a lot of money to be able to settle down over there. I know. I got some little amount of money. I believe it will go a long way. Are you sure? Mm hmm It's a new environment and uh, we we'll we'll need a lot of money to survive. It will help us. <laughs> That's my girl. Uh, I had so much fun. Yeah, but it's not even my best performance, so you can do better. Uh. <laughs> Hello, Dad. Good day. Good morning, my angel. How are you doing? I'm fine, Daddy. How are you? How is Mom? Mom is fine. How is work? Uh, work is fine. You're still bent on continuing to work at the agency? Yes, Dad. It's just for a little while, okay? I'll be resigning soon, though. wanted to hear from you. Oh, thanks, Daddy. I'll call you later. Bye. Bye. Good day, You called me. Oh, yes, I did. I want you to go to my room and clean it properly because we made a mess of it. And after that, go to my wardrobe. I have some dirty clothes there that I would like you to wash, okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, before that, please just come. Um, I would like you to prepare something for us to eat. Babe, is there anything you would want her to prepare specially for you? Yeah, babe, uh, you know, it's been a long time I took pounded, yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> can she fix that for me? Why not? 
That's what she's been hired for. Is Hurry up. Anything else, Ma? Nothing for now. You may leave. Please be fast, okay? <laughs> <laughs> No, I missed you. I'm, I miss you too. I don't believe you. <laughs> Hold on. You know, you, you look quite familiar. Have we met before? I don't, um, I don't think so. Did you work for one Mrs. Kenneth? Yes, I did. And I'm guessing you're the one who ran away with her money. And I'm guessing you have a very excellent memory. I do. And so do you. So, Miss Bella, she your new prey? Well, on the contrary, what I feel for Bella is real. I don't think so. She already belongs to another man. You know, there's no need having this conversation. No point to it. So I would advise you stay on your lane and I'll mind my business. Exactly the point. Don't stick your nose into my business. All right? You won't believe it. She actually asked me to hand wash his clothes. Tell me you're joking. I've never been so disgusted. Well, you have to live with the consequences of your choice. Whatever. How about Sir Anderson? Is he back? Mm, not yet. But babes, Sir Anderson is so handsome. Ow! Someone is in love with her boss, so... Well, honestly, it's more of a crush. But it doesn't matter, though. I mean, I'm just a maid here. So, I'll keep my fantasies in my head. <laughs> you and I know you are not a maid. Stop calling yourself that. Ah, please. I made my bed. Anyway, 
I just wish for once he can take notice of me, just once. Guy is so cute. If he can actually... In your wildest dream. <laughs> Nothing is very handsome. I wish he can just take a good look at me, fool. So you have a crush on my man? Oh, shut up your mouth! You shameless she-goat. Just take a good look at yourself. Hmm? By the way, what makes you think Anderson will stop looking at me and look your way? Tell me. Anyway, I now know what to tell your boss when he finally comes back. That his maid, his so-called maid, is in love with him. Please, ma'am. I beg of you. Shut up your mouth. What is please? When I begged and asked you to leave my house, did you agree? You bluntly refused. Now it's my turn. Moron. Please. Ah. <sighs> okay. Okay, calm down. God damn. Demma, are you done eating? Clear the table. Yes, ma. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, ma, not to intrude, but there's something I actually wanted to talk to you about. And if you're trying to beg me again not to tell him, I am sorry. Because you're filled with him. My mind is already made up. Well, this is not about that. This is about um, Mr. Emmanuel. And what about him? He doesn't really seem honest to me. <laughs> hey, hey, look here. What are you trying to do? Win me over? Hell no! By the way, who even told you your opinion even matters in, in all of this? Eh? Come on, take this plate out of my sight! And stop pork nosing in other people's business. Sorry, ma'am. As if your opinion even matters. Fool. Moron. <laughs> get out! What are you doing here? Keep your mouth. Get out! You're dressed everywhere. You go there. You see her. You go here. You see her. What a mad dog is this? Move on. I'm sorry. Hey! Out! I... Out! Oh, get out! Are you dumb? Stupid girl. Mad dog. <laughs> Do you know that there is something I haven't told you? What's that? It's about Addison, my brother. What about him? We're not from the same mother. He's my stepbrother. What? Yes. How is that even possible? He's my stepbrother. He's just a stepbrother. My father got married to different women, so... Well, that's your business. You see, now is the dying minute. This is the right time to act fast. You see, now that Anderson is not in town, his resources are at our disposal. You're right, but what do you suggest I do? Do you think that would work? See, everything will be straight over. 
Mm -hmm. mm. What if the plan doesn't work? It will work, girl. It will work. See, and by the time he's back, we'll be nowhere to be found. Mm. If you can't do this, I'll take it upon myself. Let's do it. Let's do it, girl. <laughs> That's my Called mom. Oh, yes, I did. I have decided to have mercy on you. I'm grateful, ma. Thank you so much, ma. But on one condition. What's that, ma? Have your seat. <laughs> um. Anderson put you in charge of his business, right? Yes, ma'am. Good. That means you're in charge of everything, I guess. Partly, ma'am. Good. I want you to put a call through to the accountant to request for some money. Um... What would the money be for, ma? That's going to be your bailout system. I'm so sorry, ma, but that's a big crime. <laughs> so crushing on your boss isn't a big crime, I guess. So have you thought about how he would feel? When he comes back and hears that his so-called house girl is using his picture to masturbate. I'm going to give you another opportunity. Are you in or out? I'm sorry, ma. Get, Get out! What kind of a useless girl is this? Yes, the Lord stole my soul. Oh, my soul. You worship it all. Oh, my soul. And you worship it all. Bless the Lord. Jesus. Are you mad? Are you crazy? How dare you touch me? Fiona, you're a beautiful girl, okay? And I've had my eyes on you, even from Mrs. Kenneth's place. Bella is not around if that's your fear. Just the two of us. 
Okay. <laughs> ah, you're really crazy. Now listen, listen carefully. The next time you touch me with those filthy hands of yours, I promise you, the hell I'll raise on you will swallow you. Try me. Hey. I didn't know my boss had a twin brother. Really? It's me. I don't have a twin brother. I've never had a twin brother. Oh my god! Oh my god! Sorry about that. Sorry. Oh my god, in your feet! Yes, I am. I'm good now. Oh. Thanks to God, I'm good. Oh, wow. This is a great news. I know, right? <laughs> so where's everyone? Um, th They stepped out. I mean, your return wasn't announced. That's exactly the way I wanted it. I like surprising people. <laughs> I'm really so happy for you. Thank you. Look at you. You look good. <laughs> what have you been up to? How are you doing? I'm, I'm well. I'm very well. Thank you. Benson says you guys have been doing a great job with the company. Uh, I mean, how do you manage the company? You still tie your apron and do the chores around here. It's very great, you know. I don't actually go to the office. He just brings the reports here and we go through it. <laughs> nice job. Please fix Thank me you, something. Sir. I'll be okay. upstairs. All right. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh, right. Welcome. Don't worry. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> very good. <laughs> oh. uh. Yeah, because I've been having dizzy spells for some time now. I just hope it's... Who has the bag? My boss is around now. Oh. Hey. Girlfriend. What's up? Baby. What's up? Would you give me a hug? Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh good. You can now. Um It's not hundred percent, but I am very good now. Wow. You know, I I'm, I'm surprised. Give me a hug. <laughs> so, wow, I am so happy to have you back. So tell me, how much did my baby miss me? Oh, um, very much. Very, very much. Wow. Well, I hope no man has gotten your attention lately. No, not at all. Not at all. It's you and you alone. I know, right? <laughs> Come here. Um, 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 baby, um, I have something I would like to tell you. All right, I think you can wait. I'm very famished now. I need to eat. Give me a hug. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Okay. Um, we'll see you at the dining then. Sure. Okay. <laughs> ah. Hmm. My oh my. Hmm. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. <laughs> Let me try the chicken and see if you upgraded your frying skills and grilling skills too. Hmm. Hmm. What happened? It's like you upgraded your cooking skills. Well, sir, um, I had a lot of time on my hands, so... I used YouTube to up my skills. That was impressive. You were managing my business, doing the chores here, and oh my God. Chop mm. <laughs> I really good. hope you're enjoying the meal. 
at your life. You see, I'm enjoying something. You're asking me if I'm enjoying it. Is that a rhetorical question or what? <laughs> you know what? This food is the worst meal I've ever eaten in my life. Mm, so bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, you do, do you mind getting me more of this nonsense meal? Of course. Why not? Yeah, why not? Let me use this plate. Again. I hate this meal so much. Do you mind if I use this plate? Mm, yes. Let me get more for you. Okay. Mm, you all can cook. What's this? Mmm. Why don't you know? Why don't you see? see, see, see. In loving you alone, and it's getting hard to breathe. Oh. Can't you feel the love every time you look into my eyes? Into mm -hmm. my eyes. Can't you oh. even tell? That I want to be yours and you be mine. My head hurts. Every time you call, you call her name. Every time you call her name. My heart hurts. Every time you don't. I hope you all had a very good week. So, since it's weekend. I figured it's going to be very entertaining for you all to watch the documentary of how my stay abroad went. <laughs> okay, that was really thoughtful of you. Play it, let's see. Well, you can look, clean your eyes and look properly in case if you're doubting anything you're seeing on screen. Is it not amazing? Is it not interesting? Mind-boggling also that this was going on whilst I was away. Babe, I, I can't explain. You totally disrespected me by bringing another man into my house into a house i built with my sweat and blood you brought another man took him to my bed the bed that i share with you baby i'm sorry i'm sorry please sorry. please i'm sorry you're sorry about what don't touch me you're sorry about what so this is what has been going on at my back huh You've been stealing my money and giving it to another man. Think of a fool. Think I was stupid. I loved you. I loved you as if my life depended on it. This is how you pay me back. This is how you pay me back. Babe, no. See, I swear it's the work of the devil. Oh, really? It's not what you think. The devil must be from your village yes. then. Listen yes. to me. I don't want to hear anything from you. Sandra, do you have anything to tell us? Okay. I'm sorry, Liz. You're sorry. I'm so ashamed of you. Sandra. Hey! Don't even you call my name. Don't try it. I thought you loved my brother. But no! You? You're a cheap whore. You disgust me. <laughs> Please, please, please. If you touch me, I advised myself to refrain from 
being physical or allowing my emotions move my upper limbs. I advise you just go up there, pick every damn thing that belongs to you, including the slightest spin, and get the hell out of my house. Baby, no, you can't if you touch me, baby, I will please, slap you. Please, I'm sorry. Please. If you touch me, look, like I said, I don't want to be physical, but don't push me. Please, you can't just do this to me. We you know so. how far we have come. Baby, please. Please, baby. If I come down there and meet you, if I come down there and meet you, you will see the other side of me. Please, no, please, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Please. Sandra, how could you do this to me now? Relax. Listen, if you're thinking that I placed the camera in your room, then you're wrong. I didn't. You know what? I will figure a way out. But for now, just do as it says. Leave. Just go get your things and leave. <laughs> Baby, please, I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry now. I'm that sin. Please just hear me out, please. Babe, are you serious? I am. Like, I still can't get over the shock. Eh? <laughs> Good. That means he has watched the part where you were admiring his picture. Honestly, I believe he has. But I'm wondering what's even going on in his mind right now. I really think he should put an end to all of this. Resign and come back home. You have a better life here, Fiona. No, I'm not resigning yet. I want to see how this movie is going to end. I can't resign. It's a full movie in this house. Ah, no, 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 no. This conversation has to continue. Please tell Junior to wait. Ah, ah. Wait. How, how is that even possible? I'm sure he planted a camera before leaving. Damn it. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. Like I was yesterday. Babe, I'm really sorry for what happened to you. I mean, it's really unfortunate. But on the flip side, it's a blessing. I mean, I don't get to share you with another man. I know. But it's just that... No, there's nothing to say, babe. I'm here with you. You've got me. I will never, ever hurt you. Right. Where is it? <laughs> Sandra. B, pick your call. Why? She was there and couldn't even defend me. Just speak so that you can hear what she has to say. Okay? Just speak and hear her out. Hello. Oh, please just skip the pleasantries and go straight to the point. <laughs> How am I not sure you, you're even trying to make a fool out of me? Anyway, whatever. What did she say? Good evening, sir. Fiona. Uh, your food has, uh, is untouched. Oh, yes. Um, I really don't feel hungry. So you've not eaten for some days now. Well, don't worry yourself, my dear Fiona. I am 
I'm fine. I'm. Thank you for your concerns, but I'm good. I don't want to. If you understand. Okay. Fiona. Yes, sir. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? So that's an unfair question to ask. People react to things differently. I think the decision is solely on you. Fiona, I saw your video. Um, what video? The one you were looking at my portraits and touching my portraits. Oh, about that. Um, I was only admiring the picture. It was, you know, it's a good picture. I like you, Fiona. Fiona, I like everything about you. Everything, more especially your soul. Look, you're simply amazing. You're a strong woman. I know it kind of sounds weird that I'm telling you all this and I'm, I'm casually saying it, chewing on gum, but I'm telling you this because I want to let it out. It literally feels like a reflex and I can't hold it back anymore. It just feels like when you want to yawn, you know that feeling. If I don't say it, I'm not gonna feel good. I just want you to know this. I'm not trying to, I don't know. So I... Like I said, it's not a question per se. It's, it's just me. It's just a man seeing what he loves seeing what is off the box, outside the box. Something he can't describe, but he just wants to let that thing know that you are simply amazing. That's just what I'm doing, okay? You, you don't have to give me a reply. Fine, you, you could still give me a reply if you want to, but I'm just telling you the way I feel. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Fiona. You know? um, let me go and outside you. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Thank you. Such a sweet soul. Babe, your phone is ringing and the person has been calling for some time now. Who is it? I don't know, but it's a strange number. Okay, I'm coming out. Babe, I'm coming. Hold on! Sandra! Sandra! Where is she? Sandra! Hey, hey, hey. Eh? Oh, you think 
I want to find out, Abby. Is that what you slap for? Oh, yes. Slap you. You, 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 you slap me, Abby. What do you want to do? You want us to fight? I, I, I will fight. I will fight. Fight. fight you. I will fight you. Fight you. Well, let's fight you. What is your What's your problem? What are you doing here? I thought I asked you not to come to this house ever again. Huh? You know what? It's over. If I am going down, you're going down. Two. Look at this lot. You like couldn't skip a man. Instead of you to stay with my brother, no, you refused. You were following different men. If only you had stayed with my handsome brother, should be all this would have happened. Hey, <laughs> wait, wait. Do you want to play smart with me, Abby? Mm -hmm. Fine. Let's do this. Spill it. Spill Let's it. get dirty. Spill it. You know what? Your sister and I tampered with your car break. That led to the accident. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Bro, I can't explain. I can't explain. Sandra. We only wanted one thing. One thing. Which was to kill you and cut her away with your money. And that's why we tampered with the brick. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Sandra. She was the one that... Sandra! See, see I'm not done talking. Um, we usually exchanged your drugs with them. Um, the wrong medications so you can die slowly mm -hmm. but i guess um bad things do not happen to good people and the same if i if i I'll, I'll, I'll wipe you very good good is it too late excuse me officers please Brother. excuse me i need you Mother. You're under arrest. Whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law. Officer, excuse please, me. Shut up! Violence. Officer, you are arresting them for attempted murder and fraud and so many other things. Just Madam, take them away. Under already. arrest for attempted murder. Good. Okay, no, she's the one. No, she's Madam. the one. She's the killer. She's the killer. She's the murderer. If I, please, if I wipe you. Sister, please, please, I'm sorry. She, you, 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 guys, you have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say will be used against you in the court of law. You, ah, you, Be Bella. Don't worry. Bella, please, fool. You're a wicked person. Please. What did Madam, I do to you? Sorry, I'm sorry. Madam, sorry. officer, take they, them away. Please, please, don't let me. Your hand, if your hand, touch it. Madam, if your hand, touch it. Please, don't let me. 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 Don't let me. And this criminal, she's a criminal, please. Please. Sandra. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did I ever do wrong? Please. Move it. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. Please, please. Oh, oh. oh God, oh God, move he's it, coming out. He's a move coming it. out. I'm not a now. Officers, I'm coming to the station. Huh? Fiona, that was fast. How come? Um, is the um uh, the police at the estate? Why don't you know? <sighs> Why don't you see, 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 see? Been loving you alone. It's getting hard. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <sighs> wow. It's been a very, very eventful week. <laughs> very eventful week. <sighs> okay. Thank God it's over now. I mean, with the sentence the court gave them. Chevrolet sure should rest. <laughs> I can't believe I have been leaving. Hey, with... hey. The good thing is you're alive. Wow. Look. Thank you very much. I mean, for everything, and for the role you played in everything. I appreciate. Um, there is something I have to tell you. Okay, what's that? I'm not who you think I am. Fiona. Even you? Even me what? 
Stop it. You're being paranoid. Uh. The thing is, um, my real name is Fiona Maddock. Fiona Maddock. Maddock. There's only one person that I know that answers that name. That should be um, this senior man. What's his name again? The CEO of uh, Lapel's firm. So that's the only Maddock I know. Yeah, that's my father. <laughs> <laughs> Top. Stop lying. Stop playing. <laughs> Are you when are you trying to live your fantasies or what? Fantasize? This is the fantasy. I'm more like an experiment. I mean I've I've always lived a lavish lifestyle and I wanted to have a taste of what another lifestyle could be. That's why I registered for the agency. And of course I had to use a fake name because everybody knows my dog. Oh my god. Wow. I don't know if I'm supposed to apologize. No, you're not meant to. Look, if you did not do this, I wouldn't have met an extremely amazing, wonderful, intelligent, sweet, <laughs> and compassionate soul like you. Brilliant. <laughs> Look. Be ready to take me to court or better still report me to the police because i'm not going to give up i'm going to say the way i feel over and over again and it's that i love you i love you and i can't even deceive myself at this point anymore i love you fiona i love you 50 times <laughs> so much i love you too so that's like Yes, to what I asked you initially. Is that? Yes. <laughs> Fiona, my dog. Oh my god. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Be mine. 